Donald okay. Trump. Going live at the DNC he for the first time ever. Hey, Andrew. We just have so much. There's no way to describe what we're looking at here. At our company, like at many others all across this country, we treated our employees with respect. All the Arkansas delegation folks. We celebrated it. And we gave new moms paid leave. Donald Trump said that pregnant workers are an inconvenience. So it's no surprise that he has put forward no plan for paid family leave. Finally, another important part of our business model was that we It's gruesome. You gotta be in our seats for six hours. We haven't had a break. Everybody's looking around trying to find other things to do. Oh good, Jason's gonna bring his sign to say something about the TPP or... Oh, hell, it didn't work. Just to give you an example, 2013, which was a turnaround year for our company. Yep. All of our workers. Except that I specifically asked him not to do. What's he going to say? Says. Yeah. Oh, yeah. More workers. Now he runs his businesses so that Yeah, so much for behaving. Who? You guessed it. Donald Trump. In his six, six bankruptcy filings, he used the process to protect himself and even enrich himself while his employees were left out of luck. We didn't do what we did because we were looking for awards. We did it because it was the right thing to do for our workers, and we did it because it was great for our company's bottom line. It was smart business, plain and simple. We were a stronger, more successful business because we were all in it together. Hillary Clinton believes that too. And that's why, as president, Hillary Clinton will reward companies that share profits with employees, not just executives. Under her proposal, companies will get tax credits worth 15% of the profits they share with their employees. The credits would last two years and would be larger for smaller businesses. Because Hillary believes that if you work hard, you should share in your company's success. She will also fight to raise the minimum wage. She will ensure equal pay for women and guarantee up to 12 weeks paid family leave plus affordable child care. That's fair, it's smart, and it's great for our economy because it's good for workers and it's good for businesses. At this moment, when we need to restore the fundamental American idea that if you work hard, you can get ahead and stay there. We need a president who recognizes that an economy that doesn't